A professor in Schuylkill County is calling on the United States to help protect the country he has grown to call home. He's been teaching and living in Ukraine for three years, and he's now watching his students suffer from afar. Newswatch 16's Marshall Keeley is in the studio with this story. The Biden administration has pledged more support for Ukraine, and the president met with NATO leaders about the Russian sanctions. But in the eyes of Matthew Kanenitz, it won't be enough to stop the thousands of innocent civilians from being killed. Some of them, the families of his own students. There's no way to get people in America to understand Ukraine and her people. There's such a pride, there's such a love of country. Frankville native Matthew Kanenitz spent the past three years teaching English in Ukraine. Family called him back to the States a little more than a month ago, days before the Russian invasion. He's now meeting with his students from Ukrainian Catholic University online, many of them still in the western city of Lviv. They tried to get into Poland. They walked for 30 hours straight. They walked from Lviv to the Polish border, couldn't get through, and they turned around and walked back to, to Lviv. Even in the midst of tragedy, his students are pitching in, some of them training to be soldiers, others providing humanitarian aid and sharing their home with refugees moving west. There are people from Kharkiv that are living in Lviv right now that are going crazy because it's quiet and they're so used to hearing the shelling and the bombing that they don't know how to settle. One of his students who did make it into Poland where President Biden just visited doesn't know if he'll ever be able to return. He said that they're projecting it's gonna take at least five years just to remove the landmines and the shells that haven't exploded, the missiles that haven't exploded, um, just to start the rebuilding process. The president has pledged another billion dollars in relief money from the U.S. and told reporters he would act if Putin's army uses chemical weapons. Professor Kanenitz believes the time to act is already here. We're not dealing with a person. We're not dealing with a human being with a soul. We're dealing with pure evil. And something needs to be done. Professor Kanenitz says the Russian forces are no match for the Ukrainians when it comes to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat, so they've resorted to targeting civilian lives and infrastructure. Aside from the physical destruction taking place, Kanenitz fears a generation of Ukrainians are now facing mental and emotional scarring that could take longer to repair than the cities themselves. Marshall Keeley, Newswatch 16.